I have no idea how to code. Never have and probably never will. So when I heard about Cursor being able to turn plain text and instructions into apps and basically make anyone a software engineer, I got pretty excited until I actually pulled it up and tried to use it and found out it's not quite that simple. Sure, it can turn plain text and instructions into code and applications, but if you have zero experience writing code like me, there's still a lot to learn. So I spent the last few hours reading through forums, watching a bunch of YouTube videos, going through a bunch of trial and error until I was finally able to make my first application using cursor. So in this video, I'll walk through how you can go from complete beginner having never written a line of code in your life to making your first running application using cursor. And I'll do it all in about 10 minutes. But just be warned, if you have any coding experience or previous knowledge, this video is not for you. This is just the basics, nothing more. And lastly, a big shout out to Corbin Brown. His cursor tutorials are awesome. And if you want to learn any more advanced features or things you can do with cursor after this video, I highly recommend checking out his videos and I'll link them below. Okay, now let's actually jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download cursor. So you're just going to go to cursor.com. You can download for free. The actual download process is pretty self-explanatory. You just choose your language in English, download it. And once it's actually downloaded, this is the screen that should pop up. This is the cursor application. And over on the side here, you should see cursor tutor. You should go into projects, JavaScript, SRC, index.js. So this is actually where we're going to write most of our code here. And one other thing before we actually jump in, be sure to download Node.js. Before I made this mistake the first time, I could not figure out what was going wrong. So you're just gonna go to nodejs.org. You'll download node.js, it's totally free, but you're gonna need this in order to run the JavaScript. So I'll link it below, but make sure you have this downloaded before you start trying to run the applications. Okay, so in this actual code editor, now you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're a complete beginner like me and have never written a line of code, this looks like a foreign language. Like to me, I have no idea what any of this means. I know H1 is just heading one and hello world. But other than that, like this is a completely different language that I don't understand. But bear with me because it's all going to come together eventually. The next thing that we're going to do here is actually pull up our terminal. So I'll just go ahead and search term. So now I have my terminal and cursor pulled up here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over to the terminal here. And in our terminal, we're going to type npm space I enter. This is going to run a bunch of stuff. Again, no idea really what any of this means, but you have to do that. So do that first. Next, you're going to type pwd. This is going to show where the code is actually stored at. So users dash Nick Conley is what mine's going to be. Next, you're going to paste in, and all of this will be in the description below, but you're going to paste in CD space users, and then this is going to be whatever yours is right here. I have users dash Nick Conley. This is going to be whatever comes up for you. So you're going to input that for yours, and then dot cursor, tutor, projects, JavaScript. Once we have all that, we'll go ahead and hit enter. Now it should say this, so it should say your username, JavaScript percent. This is where we're going to type in npm install react scripts. Again, I'll link this below. You're just gonna paste this in. It's gonna load here for a little while, so just give it a second. Now that's all loaded. Lastly, we're just going to paste npx react scripts start. Once we actually run, this is essentially gonna be talking to all of this code we see over here in cursor, and it's gonna pull up a local host, and the local host is basically gonna show us the interface of our app. So it's not gonna be live on the internet, it's only hosted on your computer. But once we actually click this, we are talking to cursor and we are creating the app. On this, you can see it says, hello world. So if we hit enter and everything works correctly, it should pull up a local host where we have a web page that says, hello world in an H1 header. Let's go ahead and click enter. Boom, there it is. So as you can see, we're live. Everything that is on this, so if we say, hello world, dash Nick. We go ahead and click command S because that's going to click and save. You can see it ran through here. If we go back, we can see Nick here. So we are literally communicating with this web page right here with code. We're all synced up and now we can actually do the fun stuff. So you're going to select all of this 
and then you're going to hit command K. So when you hit command K, this is going to allow us to actually give it instructions in plain English that actually I can understand and I can write, not code. So the first thing I want to try here is I'm going to ask it to put a button on the page that says click me. Every time someone clicks on the button, it's going to disappear and reappear somewhere else on the page. I know it's a stupid game, but it just is going to show what it can do here. And we're going to start simple. Please clear everything on this page and put one button on the page that says click me. When someone clicks on the button, make it disappear and pop up somewhere else on the page. It should continue to do this forever. Submit edit and watch it right. Okay, so it wrote all this new code. You can see the red areas is the part that it's basically saying or suggesting that we should delete. So if we're okay with this, and of course I'm okay with it because I have no idea what any of it means. I'm gonna say accept here. And then I'll go ahead and hit command S so that we save. Just ran, compiled with warnings. Uh-oh, that's not good. Say command S again. And let's go see what our page has. Okay, so it says click me here. It has a button. Let's see what happens when I click it. Boom, boom, boom. So it worked, it worked. That's pretty cool. We literally just told it to make an application for us. Granted, pretty simple application. I don't know what you do with this application, but we made code into a real button and a real web page. Now let's try something a little bit more complicated. So again, I'm gonna highlight all of this code here. Once it's all highlighted, I'm gonna say Command K. And then this time I'm gonna say, please clear out everything on the page and make a game in an in 8-bit code that has a single large block in the middle of the screen. Every time I hit spacebar, make it jump and then return to the floor. Let's see, this is happening live. I've never done this, so let's see. Lots of code, except this don't look right. That ain't right. Okay, command K, we're starting fresh. Please clear out everything on the page and make a game in 8-bit code that has a large block in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna take out block actually. I'm gonna say a large square in the middle of the screen. When I hit space bar, please make it jump and please make, well, let's see here. Please make the block jump and then return to the ground. Generate, okay. Okay, come on, please work. Please work. It says successful. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We're cooking. Look at that. Space. It worked. It worked. It worked, baby. Okay, so there you have it. We just went from complete beginners with no experience in coding. As you can see, I still really don't have any experience in coding. And we built an application that actually works with cursor and i know this is extremely basic these apps basically don't do anything and can't really be used for much but that's the whole point of this this is not some advanced tutorial if you want an advanced tutorial go check out corbin brown this is for all of us beginners that literally have never written a line of code and just want to see how this actually works if you like this please drop a comment if you want to see me make a video on something else and do me a favor hit subscribe and peace